Good morning. It's Andrew the Hellcat Prepper here in January along with my first battle box um, order. I ordered also a mystery box because I kind of felt left out since I was just starting. I knew they had some pretty cool stuff in recent boxes and uh, I was hoping to maybe get some of it. So we're going to open this up and see what we got here. By the way, mystery box is a lot smaller than the first box I got, but has some good weight to it and it was cheaper. Uh, they only charge 30 bucks for their mystery boxes, but you don't know what you're going to get. So we're going to find out here what we're going to get. Well, I tell you, my cheap, my cheap products here, I tell you. Gamers falling everywhere. All right, so I got the box open here. Um, first thing on top is Southern Survival Paracord. I normally like my paracord to be like I, I have a half a mile or mile roll of it downstairs in my uh, storage, and it is like dark green, army green. And drab almost all of drab almost but darker um i don't normally like these brighter colors but i understand the purpose of this and so for that uh, i do like it but it's 100 foot length of seven strand paracord it doesn't say five oh there it does it does say 550 paracord okay um now this is different than most paracords because it is glow in the dark and it has this reflective strip braided within it so when you shine a flashlight you'll see these little dots of re reflective uh, material and it glows in the dark and it came with something that I've never had paracord come with before because um, I always buy it in bulk and it just comes on a big spool but um, this neat little velcro uh, strap here so when you're done when you open it in this cardboard ain't there anymore you can still wrap it up nice and tight throw it in your toolbox or your go bag or whatever and it won't be all over the place that's nice i like that oh and i i guess the postcards here on the bottom let's see if there's anything important here with um we hope you enjoy this mystery box. Please remember, it's not your actual subscription box. It's shipped separately. It's a mystery box card, so you don't get any information about pricing or anything. You just throw stuff in here. Um, Carnivore Club, 25% off your first purchase. If you guys want to use that, it's Carnivore25 is the code. Now, I don't feel bad sharing that with you at all. Uh, if you go to Grenade Soap Company... You can use the code BATTLEBOX and get 20% off of your grenade soap. And it is soap in the shape of grenades and things like that. Um, and then they also have the look like the body washes and stuff. Kind of interesting. Okay. What is next here? Okay, we got oh, to go with the paracord, but I would not necessarily use the, that paracord for these. We got these uh, Speed Cinch 9-inch stakes. Ground blind stakes all right so take one out oh this is a nice uh real sturdy polymer you're not i was worried about them being plastic these are these are good it says made in the usa that probably explains it um all right let me see here if i got some paracord or something here wanted to strip a cord here so you got this stake stuck in the ground like this the point is you stick your your guy line or whatever you're putting in there from your tarp or and you can you go in here like this and then you cinch it back into that hole there there's a groove wrap it around this a little bit and back around that now these two cinch holes now there should be no weight that this is gonna open all right so this is good did not 
it did not budge an inch. My hand hurt, but it did not move the uh, string from where I set it. But it's unlike other knots and stuff, I always have to tie all my guy lines to undo it. Comes right off. Nice and easy. I like these. I think these I'm going to um, maybe get a little bag for. Actually, I have a little bag for them. Um, so I'll put them in this little bag I got uh, and put them in with my tarp and use these with that tarp that I got in the uh, battle box, spoken subscription box. Next, it looks like a hex drive toolkit. Oh, it's a nice little fancy box here. Um, it looks like it's made to work on anything. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a tool, a tool, multi-tool kind of thing, but different. All right, that looks like, oh, there's instructions in here. Should I look at those before I hurt myself? Tactica brand, I guess. Has instructions. It says this is a magnet here. Oh, look at that. Pretty strong little magnet, too. So you could... Um, stick this somewhere in your toolbox or in your uh, safe, gun safe, if that's where you use this kind of tool. You know, you push up on here, it's real nice and nifty, pops out of there. It has a clip on this side too, you can put it on your belt. Not my belt, my belt's a little too thick for this, but uh, you can put it on your pants or your pocket while you're working. All right, so this here. Instructions say I should be able to just push down. Hey, that's not too bad. All right, so, oh, these are magnetic too. That's nice. I like having magnetic bits. Um, lose a lot less screws that way. Let's see here. Oh, we got this extended piece here that comes out of the handle here. Your other in here. You can put that up here. Put your bit in there. And then you got yourself a little driver. Um, put this back in here somehow. Well, that's not too bad. I was trying for a second there to pull these out like this off the side, like you would maybe your toolbox, but you can't do that. You got to push them down, like it says in the instructions I finally read. See how those work? You read instructions. Push them down from the top, come right out. I don't know how to put this bag. There we go. And there are two extra holes in here. So if there is a bit that you like, these are nice and gold plated. I'm not really gold plated, but gold color plated. Um, if there's some bits that you don't see here that you like to use, you can put them in there because they have two extra holes. There they are star, hex drives, star drives, Phillips flatheads. I could fix almost any of the items I use for this. Oh, maybe not. There's no square heads here. So I would need to add some square heads to this set for me because I use square head screws on anything that I put a screw in, usually. So that's kind of a nice little thing though. i um, happy with that. I do have a tack pack coming um, to kind of test the water with that. I've seen a lot of bad uh, experiences online with those, so I'm not too uh, not too thrilled, but uh, we'll see. We'll see with that one. This one here, this is a cool item. It's a Zippo um, Typhoon Match Kit, and I've seen these also uh, being reviewed online. I don't have the setup in here, plus I'm inside. I don't want to do it in here. Um, so down here is the uh, is the the uh, striker pad, and that's kept covered with this, so it don't get damaged by water. That's cool. Let's open this up here. All right, all right. So he's coming this back here. I'm gonna open these up here. But you also get some extra 
striker pads to put on there. I don't know why you would need extra striker pads. And a keep it dry. Now I'm going to keep this in there because I'm going to open these and that way it'll help keep moisture away from them. So I'm put these, uh, yeah, I can reach down in there and get them. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the bottom here because I can reach down there and get them later. Let's open these up. Now these are um, large, large matches, that's for sure. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 14, 15 matches. Probably could have just read the box instead of using my math skills because it says 15 typhoon matches. I really want a light one. I kind of think my wife would kill me. But she don't get back home for a long time. So let's see here. We're going to light one. Let me go get a cup of water so I can put it out if I need to. my water here so we can put it out when needed now well see this says it's waterproof maybe I won't be able to put it out hopefully don't make my smoke detectors go off we're gonna find out so we're just gonna put it on here oh yeah it's a large match I could see that getting really hot, burning some stuff. Um, it says the water, but I'm gonna try it out. Oh, there it goes. Started back up. You can't see this, but it is trying to burn inside that thing. Look at that. So, once you light it, it don't matter if it's downpouring. That's getting real close to my finger. You just light your stuff you're going to burn like that and that goes out of water at least that's getting really hot towards your fingers holy shit okay this stick is not long enough guys and now the stick's on fire how are you supposed to use that i will say good item but you need a little bit something more to protect your fingers you do now hopefully at least that'll go out in water okay that that part goes out in water my finger which already hurt once, now I'm burnt too. I don't know if you saw that last review, but uh, that hurt, and then I poked myself. All right. Anyway, cool. I like them. Definitely putting this in my kit, and uh, I, th I think these are way more dependable than Bic lighters. You know, half the time you can't get them to light, or the wind blows them out. Or they're wet and the flint won't work. Um, I like these. They're good. All right. Well, that's it for the mystery box. I do have another mystery box coming. It is not here yet. Um, when it does, we'll, we'll let you know how that goes as well. You guys have a good day. And hopefully you don't have a foot in snow like, outside like I do. Goodbye.